Indonesia will host the region's leaders for the ASEAN summit next week. From grappling with the absence of the American president, Joe Biden, at the meetings to Myanmar's reported decision to skip its ASEAN chairmanship down the road, the leaders have their work cut out for them, as Leon Waikit reports. A quiet moment amid violence, which has not stopped since Myanmar's military coup two years ago. And the impact is spilling over to regional bloc ASEAN. Recent reports say the Myanmar army plans to skip its turn as ASEAN chair in 2026. So from Myanmar's decision, we can surmise two things. One, the State Administration Council has a certain timetable it needs to go along until 2027. They need sufficient time to settle affairs in the country. The second thing we surmise is that they are very confident of the validity of their ASEAN membership, regardless of what happens in the country. So I think uh, um, this decision still needs to be discussed within the grouping because uh, they are counting on the Philippines to take Myanmar's turn. And in, as far as we know, the Philippines has not spoken on this. The Myanmar issue is also casting a shadow on the bloc's plans to admit a new member, Timor-Leste. Myanmar's military ordered the expulsion of Timor-Leste's top diplomat. Dili had held talks with his opponents, Myanmar's civilian national unity government. And last month, Timor-Leste's Prime Minister Zanana Gushmao said his country won't join ASEAN if the Myanmar crisis isn't resolved. I think there is still uh, some confusion whether this has been a, a real official announcement of a policy shift by Timor-Leste regarding its uh, ASEAN membership, uh, or it has just been a remark by uh, the Prime Minister, because the president of Timor-Leste, Ramo Frauta, stated that Timor-Leste is still planning to uh, become a full member of ASEAN until 2025. But even then, Dr. Suarez now warns that Timor-Leste will not find it easy to meet the requirements for full membership. These are long-term processes and there's a lot of uh, things that have to, do, have to be done by, by the applying member or applying government. There's one thing that could speed up the whole thing, and that is, of course, a political decision. Will ASEAN be, uh, or is ASEAN willing to accept Timor-Leste as a full member even before they have really fulfilled all the criteria? Another issue the bloc is grappling with is engagement with major powers. U.S. President Joe Biden is skipping the summit and sending his vice president instead, a move that is calling into question Washington's commitment to the region. In the meantime, China is not slowing down. China has been very active on the diplomatic front, uh, including Foreign Minister Wang Yi's recent bilateral visits to three countries in the region. And in fact, China has been very consistent uh, in the way it has engaged with ASEAN. While ASEAN wants to forge stronger ties with the US, it has also maintained that it will not choose sides between the two major powers. But with this latest shift in the balance in engagement, how would that affect ASEAN's position? I think there will always be fluctuations and ups and downs. So it really depends on you know, what is the most critical issue at that point and the, the, the makeup. ASEAN's leaders are set together in Jakarta next week for the ASEAN Summit. There will also be other key regional meetings such as the ASEAN Plus 3 Summit and East Asia Summit, platforms for the bloc's leaders to discuss political and security issues with countries like the US and China. And come next year, Laos will be next in line to take on the role of ASEAN Chair. Leung Waikit, CNA.